Now we are going to do the third part of tension and we are going to use the pendulum as an example to finish this topic. Okay, so let's start. Again, so this will be a free body diagram. We are going to draw pendulum's free body diagram. Okay, so you know pendulum is a swing back and forth. So I draw a pendulum, okay, and a vertical line here. The pendulum is at the left hand side, and then the pendulum moves to the middle, the central equilibrium position. Okay, and the pendulum is moving to the right. And what are the tensions in this three situation? Okay, I think we know we have a tension here, and we have a weight here. You can join them. Weight. At the left, I probably T1. Okay, and here is W, and this is T2. And then when it comes to here, it's T3, and sorry, and weight is here. Well, uh, we can analyze this motion. Okay, and I think we know you, we can choose the, our coordinate system in like horizontal way and the vertical way. And in this case, our tension has the vertical components and the horizontal components so this will be t1x and here will be t1i and i think it's quite easy to understand uh, t1y is balanced the w so the pendulum is not moving up and down and only move uh, left and right and t1x is pointing to the right so it's making the Pendulum move to the right with an acceleration. Now I draw the triangle to find the components. So T1x is how much? So as if this is the angle theta, this, and this will be opposite. So, so T1x will be sine theta, and the T1y will be T1 cosine theta. So we do the y direction, okay? So Ty is equals to T1 cosine theta and that will be balanced with weight okay and in direction x so Tx will be T1 sine theta okay and this one is cosine ma okay so our acceleration will be how much our acceleration total to right will be T1 sine theta over m for example okay move to the right and at the center okay i think it's quite easy so t2 is equals to w that will be mg okay so the tension is the weight so there will be no horizontal no horizontal components okay so no t2x only in y direction and in the situation three, okay, so we can do the triangle here. And this is a T3, T3X, T3Y. Okay, and in this situation, again, T3Y, theta is here. So theta is here. T3Y equals to T3 will be cosine theta. And that will balance W, that will balance MG. Okay, and uh, T3x will be equals to T3 sine theta, and that will cause MA. Okay, because there's no, no force to balance to balance these components, and so the acceleration will be how big? Again, acceleration is T3 sine theta over M and it's moving to left so this is quite simple introduction about the the pendulum a basic idea is for tension the direction of the tension is along with the stream okay so we apply this one to to do our analyze okay about free body diagram and then apply newton's law okay second law of motion to solve our problem okay 
Let's conclude the topic of tension.